Greetings and salutations, folks. I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here, one trailer at a time. Today, we're gonna take a look at a 2023 Hike 100 new model, 1316 DB. It's got a single bed in the back with a big dinette that also goes into a bed. Just an awesome trailer weighing 3,200 pounds. This is an adventure trailer. This is gonna have you eating the bark right off a tree. And I'm here with my friend, that Dutch bad boy, Brandon Hannemeyer on the camera today. Say hello, Brandon. What's going on, happy campers, future campers, and fellow salespeople? Thank you so much for tuning in to the number one RV YouTube channel in the world. You should smash and click that like and subscribe button. We're putting out sweet content like this all the time. We're also on Instagram, we're on TikTok, and we're on Facebook. Having fun on all the platforms. We're, we'll produce a sweet reel on this one as well. This wrap is sick. So nice. Yeah, so this wrap is an option you can get on any Hike 100. Uh, it's obviously like a... Uh, typically like an order in option. We've got two of these in the stock right now and two different floor plans It does add some cost obviously, but it does look unbelievable different than anything you've seen before We've got a front power jack a single 20 pound tank Then also you're gonna get a battery and a box in through here We've got the exoskeleton which you can stand on you can climb on you can strap things to so You're gonna protect the trailer, which is awesome. We've got a great water tank for our kitchen and our shower we have a cassette tank in through here for our toilet. So you can actually empty this out into your neighbor's fire if you want to. We have solar on the roof, but in case you want to add some more solar, you can do that right here on the side. Toy hauler style ladder to get up and down off that roof, checking your seals, strapping things down. Electric jacks individually switched underneath the trailer. Fresh water fill, outside shower, city water connection, furnace vent, six gallon, gas electric water heater. Now also on the other side, we have your standard electric awning, but around this side and around the back side, we can set up a bat wing awning, which will give us like uh, three sided awning covered, which is awesome. We've got some storage in our fender flare uh, for like some durable things, 16 inch Goodyear Wrangler tires. And then in underneath our back bed, we've got this massive pass through storage. It has nice thick doors, slam latch doors, 30 amp detachable style cord. And then here at the back, we have a, I wouldn't call an outside kitchen, or would you call an outside kitchen? I think so, right? Let's yeah, call it an outside kitchen. Up. So we have an outside fridge cooler, kind of truma thing that runs off of 12 volts. We've got cupboard space here, all the way across the top. I like this army green we got going on. We have a receptacle out here, spot to hang things up. Right here's your bat wing awning, outside spray port. Uh, class 3 receiver that's good for 150 pounds and then here's our main electric awning we put that out with a switch LED lights in the awning window window more storage now this cupboard right here you can fold this up pop this down you can put the outside uh, like a, put some kind of griddle right here hook it up to there you can take your out your inside induction cooktop put it here plug it in we've got two step uh, entrance up and in, lend a hand, grab handle. <clears throat> now, this is a Norco frame that's huck bolted together. Basically, the competition is doing a lipper frame, which is welded. But if you do it like a huck bolt like this, it allows for very little, um, uh, it, it's very exact because it's all bolted into place exactly, perfectly square, which is great. We've got this uh, awesome axle with a trailing arm, it, basically like an independent suspension, but the axle actually comes up and around, so you can't really damage it on like tree roots or rocks or something like that. It's gonna protect the actual axle itself. Outside receptacle and then another spray port right in through here. Let's get inside this thing. Right on folks, so we're inside, out of the wind on this Winnebago Hike 1316 DB, Big fan. Like this is probably ah, the Murphy bed one's one of my favorites. This is definitely one of my favorites. This is hundred percent my favorite. Yeah, eh? love you, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> that's sweet. Um, yeah, th this is really nice. I like it. for a thirteen foot trailer to get this single bed here for storage or for sleeping, whatever you're doing with it. That's awesome. We get this dinette, and it's such a usable dinette because this is a table that kind of rotates around. We can do what we want in through here. It'll turn into a secondary bed. Um, your, uh, uh, yeah, it's just, 
like I like this. I'm, I'm a big fan. Um, I love the army green. We saw it in that out, outside piece as well. We got some shelving in through here. Windows on both sides of the bunk. Windows on both sides of the dinette. And then the big keys is does, does turn into a big bed in through here. Now as we head forward, we're used to seeing this in uh, all the other Hike 100s. This front end is the same. We've got this closet in through here. There's a sink cover in through here. That's gonna fit right into our kitchen. We have a furnace, we have our breakers and our fuses into the actual shower itself. We've got like a wet bath, right? But I can stand up in here. A lot of wet baths, I can't. There's lots of height. We've got a hanging bar in through here. So if you're not using this for a shower, whatever, you can hang up some more clothes. We've got a toilet that rotates out of the way to give me some foot space. It rotates back in and around for doing your business. We've got a little cupboard in behind there just for some toilet paper or whatever. And then let's get into the shelves, eh, Brendan? I think that's a, a big deal on this guy because we have these two shelves. Again, not you. if you're not using this for a shower, this is gonna turn into a spot where you can dry your adventure clothes. You can fold stuff up in through here. Just gives you great versatility in this bathroom, right? Now, coming out of that bathroom, we have our seamless countertops in our kitchen, a pull-out faucet, unannounced stainless steel sink. There's a spot here you can charge your cell phone off of 12 volts. There's a receptacle. There's a big cupboard right through here underneath. And this one has the 110 fridge. So this is gonna unlock and you can see all your fridge space in through there. There's this piece here, which gives you even more counter space uh, when you're doing your business in the kitchen. We've got our convection microwave. We've got our tank heaters, which is great for a day that's cold like now. It's still forced air off the furnace, but yes, you have electric blankets on the tanks too. Light switches, awning switches, that kind of thing. And then one more cupboard in through here. I feel like that's it, Brandon. You feel good about it? There's one extra spot for storage right down here. Where's that? Oh, yeah, of course, let's do that. Um, that's where our induction cooktop is just stored for right now. So you can pull that out, put it on the shelf here, plug it in, however you want to do that. Just a killer, nimble adventure trailer. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hit the like button, the subscribe button. Hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Leave us a comment down below.